Hello and welcome to Just Bored, the show about computers, microcontrollers, and more. Today we'll take a look at the YPI 3.0. This is a development board that runs an ESP32 system on a chip. It packs a dual core 32-bit processor that clocks in at 240 megahertz. For memory, the board has a total of four megabytes of RAM, and for persistent storage, it offers eight megabytes of flash. There's one user programmable red, green, blue LED, which allows for a wide range of colors. At its maximum intensity, it's also very bright. For networking, the board has a built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth module which includes support for Bluetooth low energy. There's also an optional antenna port, which can be used to extend the wireless range. This button next to the LED is a reset button, which will restart any program code that's loaded onto the chip. There are a total of 28 pins on the Wi-Fi, and you can get the board either with normal through-hole pins or with the headers already soldered on. It has one ground pin, one 3.3 volt pin, and one VN pin, which will power the board when supplied anywhere between 3.5 and 5.5 volts. By default, there are three analog input pins and 24 digital I.O. pins, which have a wide range of features. As far as interface pins go, there's two UARTs, one I2C, and one SPI. For software, the board comes with MicroPython pre-installed, which is an implementation of the Python programming language that's been optimized for running on microcontrollers. The Wi-Pi also comes pre-configured as a wireless access point that you can connect to directly. There's also an FTP server running for file access and Telnet for accessing the REPL or read eval print loop. So what's it for? If you like Python programming and you want to run your code on embedded devices, this board is perfect for that. The MicroPython interpreter runs surprisingly well on these little boards and it's a really thorough implementation of Python. There are a few differences between MicroPython and the common CPython implementation, but they're all relatively minor. For that reason, the YPI makes a great development board for beginners because Python is such a commonly used language, and it's one of the best to get started with. You don't have to worry about programming in C, using a compiler, or any other special development tools. I got my code up and running on this board using just a text editor over FTP. So what isn't it for? The board itself doesn't have any USB or power connectors, so it's probably a good idea to pick up one of the expansion boards to go with it. Most of these give you a micro USB port for power and communication, a lithium battery connector, and a micro SD slot for additional storage. Without the expansion board, you'll need to supply the proper amount of power to the VN pin, and if you want serial communication, you'll need a device that can connect directly to the RX-TX pins. It's not a big deal, but especially if you're getting one of these because you want a beginner-friendly device, the expansion board is recommended. Well, that's the YPI 3.0. Go to the comments below and let me know what board you'd like to see covered next. Or let me know what types of projects you'd like to see built using the YPI and click through to the video on the left if you'd like to see this board in action.